it's us. Be your response, play boys, man. Welcome back to another video. And uh, guess who's back? It has been 157 days since Dusty has last been seen running, bro. And I'm glad to have her back. Shout out to Renardo for fixing her. Well, building the motor, doing everything, obviously. So what I'm going to be doing right now is changing the oil. Um, Renardo had added some VR1 that I gave him. And uh, we let the car run for like 20 minutes, 50 minutes. I don't know how long he let it run for. And then um, I drove her home yesterday. So he told me to change the oil, to have fresh oil. So I could get all the, you know, assembly lube, whatever shavings that the motor made all out. And uh, we'll have a clean little oil change. Then I'll do like 200 miles on that oil. Then I'll swap it out for some more VR1. 200 miles on that oil. I'll probably do like three oil changes or four, four, four oil changes before we actually send this car to the dyno. By then, that should at least have like 800 miles on the motor. And yeah. So uh, we're going to swap over to the GoPro just because it's easier for me to record. So let's get it. All right, man. Some nice ass cord here. All right, let's see how difficult this oil changes now since the oil filter doesn't sit in the original spot like how I used to. This is going to be interesting. So now the oil filter sits over here on top of the axle. Definitely don't think you guys can see that. But how the heck do I even get this off? I wonder if I could get it from the top. Can I, nope, nope. If this mount wasn't here, I'd probably be able to get it from the top. But it looks like I'm gonna have to break off. Maybe if I turn the wheel. If I turn the wheel outward, I should be able to get it. Uh, let's see. How much space that gave me? Damn, it gave me a lot of space. All right. <clears throat> Let's see if I can get this damn oil filter out now. <gasps> All right, so I finally got the oil filter off. Now I have to drain the engine oil, bro. Bro, I didn't expect it to be that damn hard to remove the oil filter but it's just in such a terrible spot i'm pretty sure when i buy like a different um a different thing to take off the oil filter because the one i have right now is kind of like too too thick no ditty and it won't fit no ditty so um yeah i probably have to buy a slim one or find a different way to get to the oil filter but uh yeah um time to drain the oil Really want to see what this thing looks like. Ooh, almost. Let's see what this thing looks like. It's gonna be clean, cause it's freaking literally less than 20 miles in this oil. Ugh. Yep, looks pretty clean. Trying to see if I see any metals. If it look glittery. I need to hit it with a light. Oh yeah, I see some metal. A little glittery, but that's normal. Ain't too bad, bro. Alright guys, so the oil change is finally done. I didn't expect it to be this like 
long for me to change the damn oil, but yeah, whatever. Um, we're gonna start up the car right now, still on a jack stand, and I have the jack in front. Let's start it up. First, I need to strain these wheels. Actually, I'm gonna put you guys in behind so I can see on video if this thing actually is puffing any type of smoke out. Well, it sounds good. I'm gonna check the oil pressure real quick. Ugh. Oil pressure looking nice. Fuel pressure isn't too bad as well. Alright, so I just rewatched the clip. I noticed that it is smoking a little bit, but that is because when I did uh, blow the motor, it did send oil flying everywhere. Um, from my memory, big old cloud of, of white smoke and blue smoke that my boy said. Um, also, when I put the cardboard underneath the car after I blew the motor, I did notice that it had a couple drips of oil coming out of it. I mean, coming on top of it. Hey, yo, no ditty. There was a couple of drips of oil coming from the wastegate dump. So that's how I know I had oil in the wastegate dump as well. So it's not it's not smoking when it's just on. It's really just smoking when I apply the throttle. So I guess if it was smoking completely, like the whole time when it was on, that would be concerning. But since it's only smoking when I add some throttle to it, it just it's just making me believe that it's literally just everything's coated in oil. Damn! So as you guys can hear, everything's rattling. But I don't think I'm gonna change that. Um, like I said, I think I'm just gonna buy some sound deafening and just put it inside the car. I feel like that will stop a lot of the rattling that I'm hearing. But uh. Yeah, honestly, it's not that bad to me. But, uh, I need to park the car. So let's go park it.
man it has been a blast driving this car i'm not gonna lie to you guys so uh i think the last clip in this video which i don't really know what it is i think it was me driving i don't know how i'm gonna order this whole video but we're gonna be swinging by to m tech performance that's where i used to work um just hang out with my you know my friends and stuff and uh chop it up with them see what like how, what the reaction is when i pull up in dusty because they know that dusty has been down for a while so we're gonna see how you know we're gonna get their reactions you feel me let's get it feels amazing driving this car don't mind the check engine light that's for the evap um we deleted it i'm mean, actually i'm gonna give you guys a whole breakdown of this build um yeah but that's the reason why the evap is popping up hopefully this lady oh i made it before she turned but man this car has came a long way you guys if you guys been with me from the beginning of the channel you guys see me stop you guys see me all motor you guys see me all motor e85 you guys see me turbo turbo 85 now it's built motor built trans it's crazy i definitely need an alignment though oh my gosh this alignment is boots i still gotta break it in so no pulls but a lot of engine braking light throttle damn no Keith! Oh good nigga! Whoa! What's up, son? How you been, dog? Hang in there. Chillin'? That is your car. <laughs> What's good, baby? Chillin'. Damn, bro, you came back. Yeah, man, I've been here for a little bit, you? Shoot, you know, and, you know, I'm around. How's your business? You going? Uh, you know, same old, same old. You, you too? You married now, nigga? Hell no. You left her? <laughs> nah, nah. Oh, damn. <laughs> hey, man, it's you how I go. <laughs> Nah, we ain't working out. Fuck her. Like, damn. <laughs> Never get married. Where everybody at? Everybody gone, nigga. Really? Yeah. Today was like an off day. Been raining like crazy. But you here to do a uh, car? Nah, I just came to chill. Oh, okay. Shoot, nobody in here? Well, Moose over there. I'm about to leave after this car. I really should have been gone by now. Well, Moose in the main office? Yeah, he over there on that side. He was talking to somebody. Oh, shoot. I think Sean just went in Oh, he moves right there. No. Nobody in here? Uh, Sean. What's going on, bro? What's up, Black John? Damn, what the fuck going on here? Wow. I just came by because my car back, so I wanted to show you. Show everybody the whip back. Damn. How finish is it? Um, pretty close. My goodness. Well, it's still stock motor, right? Yeah. Damn, bro. Water. Ice chiller. This is gonna be crazy, bro. I said, this is gonna be crazy. Dang, where does this, this goes all the way back to the engine? Um, sorry, right here, look. Heat exchanger, heat exchanger oh, okay. to other heat exchanger, right? That heat exchanger comes back in to here, drains, oh. feeds back out, back under the car. To, okay. But I'm I guessing this is the this little one that goes, no, this one goes That's here. just the fat one. Oh, okay. So, return, feed. But it is, both of these, if they are going to both sides of the engine. Shawty stop me, she's so geek. Shout it for me, she's so geek. I'm in there, bitch, and I'm free. I put BBs on my links. Shout it, can't wait till we end. Fuck with that cat, you get me. Get laid on your ass, you get me. I play with that dirty bitch. I need a mess for this heat. I need a get for my bitch. You know that chopper on me. You know that chopper on me. It feels so weird looking at a B58 in such a small chassis. Yeah. Cause every time I see it is in Sean's and yeah. it's like, bro, the car is so long. <laughs> but now this, yeah, this is something I'll get into. I, I don't know. I like the M340s. Yeah. I just feel like they're just too big for me. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I, I wanted one originally, but I started noticing that everyone had an M340. Yeah, everybody, yeah. everybody has one. So like, These are so, yeah, yeah, this right here is perfect for me. 
Damn, bro. And it's crazy because you, I see you posted it was stock, and then you went ghost, and then back <laughs> turbo. I said, damn. It's luckily the thing is that I had the Supra, so I transferred like majority yeah. of the parts. Some things I had to tweak, but for the most part, everything was kind of like a, like a just basically like item. a switch. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing was the Supra was two port, and this is six port. Oh, nice. Dang, you made some power on the two port. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> Clean ass super they got here, man. Sheesh. That fitment though. My boy Robin snapped. My goodness. It's crazy. These things are so tiny. Like inside, it just looks like an S2000. Like it's super, super tight in there. It's wild. But these things are so light. I think they're like 31, 32, 100 pounds. And they can make so much power. That B58, it's cool. Always thought about getting a super, but I ain't got the money for that. Damn, that feel look good in this. Sheesh. Fresh out of work, man. About to get alignment on Dusty, bro. This dent right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a dent like literally right here. And I hate it so much. And it happened when we was getting the car on the uh, on the dollies to take it to Renardo. But it's all right. I'm gonna get rid of it soon enough, bro. She's dusty. Dusty looking good in this light, even though she's filthy right now. Don't fuck up the fender, bro. Don't fuck up the fender, bro. It's already fender rolled. You better roll it again. You know what's crazy? What? I hear Renardo's car with zip ties, and he went home. I left the zip ties on the wheels, and I fucked up his thing. Bro, I'm getting wheels. I just want to get a wheel set up first. Like, a, I want a, a good tire. Nobody wants to trade me the RPF one. That shit's annoying. I mean, how much you asking for? I want to trade them. You want to trade them from stock wheels? <laughs> I'm tired of these damn stocks. Hey, bro, you can't go wrong with Blaze. Blaze just look too good. Look at this shit, man. Bro, you can't. I'm t I told you, I can't even fit my finger in there. Well, we're going to have to be ghetto, bro. Your alignment's not going to be spot on but the steel wheel gonna be straight <laughs> bro does it does it really matter if you don't align the back because there ain't no adjustments uh, back there you ever seen those trucks that crab walk yeah that's what uh. essentially the, the i'm gonna probably sound stupid on camera but essentially the back guides the front i don't know how to explain it bro. shoot all i know there's no adjustment back there all you can adjust is there's like adjustment back there really there's a toe in the back that's it though don't have camera on. Oh yeah, I don't need it. That fitment beautiful. Look at that guys. You guys you guys gotta tell me that fitment not beautiful bro. Why do you camera arms? If if the wheel if the wheel if the wheel full in the gap. Look at that. Damn I don't know. I'm thinking this right here might be the thumbnail. This this kind of fire. I don't know one of these one of these right here gonna be Yes. Bro. There we go. Work. This is that TikTok mechanic shit. You going there's no worker comp here, bro. It's honestly been a minute since I had a straight steering wheel. Bro, why not sound so diddyish? No ditty. It's been a minute since my steering wheel has been straight. Even when Dusty wasn't blowing up, bro, I used to have unstraightened steering wheels. Hopefully the steering wheel stays straight and I don't have to drop the subframe and make it cricket again. Um, Yeah, man, we're gonna test it out, see how straight it feels. And I'm gonna go home and eat because I'm freaking starving. My glass, she looks so good. My goodness. Damn! <laughs> I know the clutch is a, a strong clutch, but damn! Why did you make that? Because you're not giving it enough gas.
This alignment is fucked. <laughs> First time seeing my car driven by somebody else but me. Actually, no, Ronaldo drove this. Yeah, this alignment is fucked. Your steering wheel, I told you, your steering wheel's gonna be straight, but your alignment's gonna be fucked. What is it? Do what? Bro, you don't got a real man clutch in your car, that's why. It's a real man clutch. Yeah, your alignment's fucked. Oh, you think I'm scared to do pulls in this thing sometimes? I don't know if I helped it, but I didn't. Well, it's still going to the to the right. Yeah. They drive straight. Well, it goes to the left now. Like it's not bad. I don't know how bad it was before. It was terrible. The steering wheel is still slightly off. I got a mess with it though. All right, you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, man. I know this video is kind of like everywhere and all over the place. But I'm trying to give you guys longer content, longer stuff of me doing something and, you know, showing something cool. So, yeah, man, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you already know what I'm going to say. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Follow your boy on Instagram at underscore got the soda. Head to the merch site, www. What? www.zubigarage.com. And, yeah, your boy's out. Peace. Yeah. Trouble on my mind. Yes, I got trouble on my mind. Trouble on my mind. So much trouble on my mind.